Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hi. My nails are a mess. We're just going to have to deal with it, I'm afraid. My name's Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and the stuff she does when nails is done with. <gasps> nail stuff and stuff for nails. Fa -la 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 -la. Today we are going to use tips that are size kind of middle ring finger. I think ring finger on me. Um, I think they're from P -p 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 -pro, Impress Pro Impressions. And we're starting with Madame Glam's, I didn't see it, Grand Canyon. We're going to do two coats of that. Why is this happening really quickly? It's not been sped up, I don't think. And now I'm doing a top coat. So we're going to top it with a no wipe top coat. And then we're taking a red chrome. You can use any color chrome or pigment, whatever you want. And I'm going to burnish that into the no wipe top coat. And then, okay, now I'm up to speed. How are you all? You're right. <laughs> and then I'm going to dust off. And then I'm taking some base coat and I'm going to do just a kind of bit in the middle. And we're going to take some red glitter and some diamonds, which kind of just get lost in it didn't really need those but I picked them out and we're going to pat it onto the where we've put the base coat so the base coat is still wet and then kind of spread it out so kind of blur the edges of the kind of circle we've created because I don't want it a perfect circle I want it to kind of be like an explosion like it's exploding with glitter from the center and then adding a couple of those diamonds which I just have to kind of wiggle in to the base coat and then I'm going to top and cure and then we're going to give it a Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We're going to do lots of trees today, different ways of doing trees. Um, there'll be a few things we kind of do the same because a Christmas tree is there's only a certain amount of ways you can do a Christmas tree it would seem. So I've wiped and buffed uh, no, I didn't wipe because it was a no wipe top coat. I've buffed. And now I'm taking the Madame Glam gel paint in white. Um, you can use gel polish if you want as well. And we're going to do a little star. Probably flash that in place just so it stays there in case we mess up the next step and need to wipe. Any of these designs, you can change the colours, you can change everything. It's just kind of some ideas for trees. And we're going to do a little dash and then a kind of a flick. <laughs> but I'm not very good at the whole delicate, nice flickiness. So I'm kind of, I'm putting pressure down on one side and then sweeping to the other side and lifting off pressure so the line gets thinner. And then just repeating that each side. But I am leaving a little gap at the end for this, this bit here, for the start of the next sweepy swoop some of these have been inspired by pictures i've seen online i have screenshot them all if well, i've screenshot the ones that had names visible some of them on pinterest you know other people have saved these pictures and they might have cropped them so where there's a name i will put it on screen so with these flicks i'm getting wider as we go down and then i'm just going to put a little box a trunk on the bottom and then cure and then top and then we're done so lots of you can I think maybe I fiddled around with my flicky lines a bit before before curing just to make sure they were sort of as neat as I was going to get them and that is that one our tree with an explode a glitter explosion behind it chrome glitter tree stars it's got stars on it a lot of these have stars on I'm very happy about that so that is number one. Number two is we're using Madame Glam's Blue Monday and Wet Bandit, which is a magnetic uh, cat eye one. But you can use, again, whichever colours you want to for any of these. So we're going to do a coat of that and cure and then a coat of Wet Bandit. And then we're going to get, before curing this, we're going to get some magnets. They're attracting. And then we're going to have the attracting sides facing each other and bring out the zhuzh. 
I think that's the only word for it, the zhuzh, the magneticness. And then I'm going to take this round magnet and press it in the centre because I want a darker hole in the centre and then try and bring out the um, magneticness around the outside. The, the round magnet's chipped. They're chipped because I keep them all together. So whenever I put one back, the others kind of attract to it and bash together. They're attracted to it, so they bang it, which is just a natural course of events. <laughs> so I'm just bringing out the zhuzh around the sides and then I'm taking the detail liner from Madame Glam you can get a whopping 30% off at Madame Glam with the code MissJo30 and the link in the description lots of links in the description for nail places Macart, Madame Glam uh, Born Pretty Melody Susie some jewellery places in there um, so always check those out to get money off your orders and now we're doing Similar, we're doing flicks, long flicks, but we're doing them all from one side and slanting them up. I think maybe I shouldn't have gone as wide and had them kind of more vertical, but there you go. And then on the end too, just to make it straight along the but bottom, bottom, <laughs> along the butt, um, we've just done little ones, just flicks, nice easy flicks. This was inspired by one so I will see if that picture has got a name on it hopefully it does and um, the 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 way they've done the flicks and then we're just going to top it and we're done lots of sort of easy to do but they look more difficult than they are but that was a really nice one to do from doing it all from the same side it was just quick and easy bit of pressure and then aim your brush in the direction you're going in whilst lifting off the pressure this is the first attempt i did it glittery with stars thought it was a bit too much and too small this happened oh you son of a bitch no <gasps> no <laughs> of all the things in all the land my galaxy stars <laughs> Oh, don't cry, Joseph. Don't cry. There's a pattern in this video for that sort of thing happening. So on this next one, we're going to do two coats of this creamy colour. You can either take the bits of fluff out or you can just cure that shit in there. Um, I think I tried to get them out. And then I'm going to wipe and buff because we're going to take the Vetsy Art Gel line in black number four. And this is really good for chroming. Um, chrome stuff sticks to it once it's cured. And I did this. This is no particular pattern whatsoever. A swirl that way, a swirl the other way. I did this for about 47 minutes. <laughs> trying to get a pattern I liked. The first one I liked. But I thought that can't be right. I can't do swirly, flicky stuff and like it the first time. I'm no good at that stuff. So I wiped it off thinking, no, we'll do better. And then regretted it massively and just kept trying to do random, just squiggly patterns in a triangle, in a tree shape. And just, it took so long, so long. I was watching tennis at the same time. So that may have added to how long it took. But yeah. Think of a triangle and just do swirls and flicks and dots or whatever in it. And then we're going to, oh, who loves me? Duolingo. <laughs> and then we're going to cure that. And these, these chromes are from Vetsy. This is the Magician series, that one. And then there was two others that I got off Amazon recently for really cheap. So I'm going to use actually the one above that I think I end up using. So I'm going to take the little applicator brush it, brush it came with and just rub it on there and look how pretty. My random, nonsensical, what of those flicks and swirls got to do with Christmas suddenly look beautiful-ish. Um, but any gel that um, leaves you a surface to chrome onto, so you could do it in top coat, the pattern, be a bit more difficult to see. But um, the reason we wiped and buffed first was so that when we chromed it only stuck to that area it wasn't going to pick up anywhere else on the nail 
So I'd spent so long trying to get that wiggly thing right. I had other ideas for it, stuff around the outside. Um, but then I thought, no, let's just, let's just leave it at that. Why not? I'd spent so bloody long doing it. Let's not detract. That has to be the main focus point. I spent too long. So now we're going to take white, white, the, this is the Madame Glam Perfect White. And then I'm taking their Super Cat Eye Gel, which you can mix with colours or you can put over any colour. Um, and then we're going to get rid of the fluff. Get the fluff out of here. Trying to fluff with my shiz. And we're going to do the same thing with the magnets attracting. We're going to bring out the zhuzh, magnetise. Ooh. God, I'm obsessed with cat eye polishes at the moment. Wait until you see the order of my, that I got the 50% um, Madame Glam Black Friday order sale thing. I ordered 17 colours. They're all amazing. I can't wait to show you. So we cured the cat eye. And then we've put a base coat down. Not too thick because otherwise everything's going to be moving around. Just thin enough to grab onto these hollow dots. You could use glitter. You could use things that aren't dot shaped. Um, anything you want to stick here. And we're going to pop them in a little triangle pattern at the bottom of the nail. Um, and then a little star. Yay, more stars. A star on top. And then we're going to cure that all in place give them a give them a wiggle around I wanted them to have gaps between each one and then I'm going to I think I matte top here because I was curious as to what it would look like matte but also because I'm going to paint on top and I'm going to paint over the tree and trying to paint over just if I hadn't topped the dots with anything you wouldn't have it wouldn't have been very neat so we're going to do the same flicks on this bit of pressure wiggle flick as you lift up the pressure all the way down and because this is gel paint you wouldn't have to top it you could leave it like this but I wanted it to be shiny so if you want to if you don't have a matte top coat you can top and buff before painting the white bits on so that you've got a smooth surface to paint on because otherwise painting on the dots will be a bit lumpy bumpy so we topped that and sealed in. So now the dots and the star have been double sealed in as well. So it's nice and smooth. And that is that a one. Off you go. Now, shall we have a little giveaway? Why not? Today's video sponsor is Julia, who have sponsored videos before. I absolutely love their stuff. So I'm really glad to have them sponsoring another video. They are, we are going to do a giveaway for a necklace a personalized necklace of your choice which uh, i'll get to the details of that in a sec just having a quick look through the brochure they've got such different unique stuff i love it you have to look at their website or their in instagram as well sorry i just bit my tongue <laughs> that ring at the back i kind of really want it because it's so not me it's super girly but i love it um everything comes with a gift bag so that uh, you can gift it if you want or keep it for yourself like i do and there's a reward scheme with some benefits um, that come with it. And this is the piece de resistance. I figured it was good. I should get a sparkly thing. I haven't got anything too sparkly from there. Oh, pretty woman. And this has not disappointed. Oh my goodness me. This is by far the sparkliest thing I've ever seen in my life. The video, it, it doesn't do it justice at all it's so freaking sparkly you know when you get something this is a, a tennis bracelet i'll put a link to this um in the description this is one of their tennis bracelets and even these little bits have sparkly things my nails are really ruining this damn it um yeah you know when you get oh look at it <gasps> look at ah oh. You know when you get something new and you just keep taking it out of wherever you've put it and putting it on or just staring at it and admiring it. That's what I've been doing with this bracelet since since I got it. It's going to go with everything. I think I'd even wear it cash with even the silver on the underside is super shiny. I'd wear it I'd wear it cash with jeans and a jumper. But I am mostly looking forward to wearing it on Christmas Day and blinding people with it. <laughs> Great to see you, Grandma. Blind! 
How you doing, Gramps? Blind! <laughs> so these are some of the... <laughs> these are some of the personalised necklaces on their website. There's a lot more than I show here. Just for a, just to show you quickly. And for your chance to win a free personalised necklace of your choice, all you need to do is like this video and comment which necklace you would like to win. I'll put a link to the personalised necklaces in the description and I'll also pin it to the top of the comments section and don't think you won't bother because you won't have a chance because a winner will be picked in one week and I don't have millions of subscribers so you really are in with a decent chance of winning and I'll put all the names in a random generator and pick from there so it's all fair and square you can get 15% off orders with code MISSJO15 I think the O is a zero and you can get to Julia's website through the link in the description where I'll also add details of this bracelet and the other pieces I've got from them as well. So if you want to be wearing this on Christmas Day, then share my link and discount code with your loved ones. Don't even have to say anything. Just text the link and the discount code to them like a gentle shove in the right direction or treat yourself. You're out here buying presents for everybody else. Buy yourself a present. You deserve it. Shopping is hard. Don't forget to comment uh, which necklace you would like to win and like this video for your chance to win your very own Julia piece. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to some more nail stuff, stuff with nails. Next up, we have the, the this colour. It's called Braveheart, which is also a Madame Glam colour. We're going to do something kind of chocolatey, goldy and feeling warm. And I wanted to do things to use some different mediums so we've got glitter chrome uh what else is there cat eye foil that sort of thing so i've done two coats of that and wiped and buffed because we're going to foil a section now with foil gel and a liner brush and not only having this buffed means that we can kind of see where we're going with the foil gel foil gel foil gel foil gel i think i've got it have i got it anyway uh, what was I saying? Yes, but when we do put the foil on, same as when we put the pigment, the chrome pigment on, it's only going to stick to the area that we want it to stick to. So we won't have to do any cleanup after. So we're going to do a triangle with the foil gel and then we're going to cure it. And I'm taking this kind of rose gold foil and we're just going to press on and pick up and then maybe do a couple more presses because it's a one color foil you can just sort of press anywhere if you've missed any bits and you're not messing with patterns and things oh here's what I should have done oh Dave I should have matted instead of wiping and buffing because I want the background matte so now I'm matting it now because I, I just messed up but if you want the background matte, matte and then do the foil. Or if you want the whole thing shiny, then wipe and buff and do the foil. And then you can top everything shiny. But I do want the background matte. So whichever way you choose to do that, once you've got this foil triangle, we're now going to top it in shiny. Um, which if you're going to top the whole thing in shiny, you can wait until the end. But we are going to paint on top with gel paint so I'm not going to top the gel paint after if you want the whole thing shiny do the gel paint then top the whole thing shiny if you want it how I'm doing it then matte then do the foil triangle cure it put the foil on top the triangle in shiny and then do this step I'm spiraling am I spiraling <laughs> so now we've done a little star again and then we're going to do some more wiggly bits I do I do like them going sort of thicker one end and then alternating the thickness so I left a gap then instead of keep turning it round and then so do the thicker on the left and then the right and then the left and the right um it just kind of balances it out a bit and then we're going to add some dots because god forbid I do a single video without any dots in do you know what I've noticed about the Madame Glam brushes they don't soak up the polish at the tip so that you can do a dot you know when you go to dot and it's kind of, the, the, there's a little bead of polish that's soaked up or like moved up the bottom of the brush, the tip. Doesn't do it. Amazing. 
And then I didn't top the gel paint because it doesn't need it, but you can if you want the whole thing shiny, you can top over it. That's no, no problem, no bother. And now we are doing a coat of black, the perfect black. And I'm taking this, this is from Born Pretty. It's their Nicole Diary. Um, I don't know if it's their brand or something, but it's from Born Pretty. It's a cat eye, it's a 9D cat eye, but you can use anything here. You don't even have to use a cat eye one. Just use a green or whatever color you want. And we're going to do another triangle, another tree shape in this cat eye polish. And then we're going to magnetize it, zhuzh it, magneticatize. I've just seen that um, Christine simply hollow taco, hollow taco, taco, has brought out some cat eye polishes. That's pretty cool. I'm super into cat eye polishes at the moment. I think they, I think they're nice for winter as well. I don't know why, but there's just, just maybe it's because they're a bit sort of fancy pants around Christmas and everything. So going to get our triangle on and then bring out the the ooh with a magnet. This is super lime green. Make sure. Oh, there it is. There's when you think that looks nice but you're not blown away by it, keep keep at it for a second longer because then suddenly, pow, smacks you in the face with amazingness. And then we are topping. And then what are we doing? Why am I topping? I'm taking white gel paint now. Have I matte topped? I've matte topped. For the sole reason that I wanted to see what I was doing and sometimes painting on a shiny black nail, I can't really see and yeah. So I've mat matted it, um, but you could just paint this straight over. You don't need to do anything else. So I'm going to outline it first and then do a swirl that is thin on one side. And then as it comes down to the other side, it really sort of slants down. And then we take this extra bit to bring it down and then fill in the gap. This I did see on Pinterest. It was a video, I think. I think she did it on a gray background. I'm not sure oh, if it's got a name, I will put it on screen. But as I say, sometimes there's the names are cropped or so you can't always see, which is annoying because it is nice to credit someone who you got inspo from. But this um, style of doing the tree like this was taken from someone else. So we've done the same, just swerving, swirling, swerving from right to left and thickening up the left side. And then I've decided to add a little trunk and a dot um, on there. And then we're going to top it with shiny. Oh, I love this. I really, I think this is my favorite one out of the set. Maybe one of, I don't know, there's a lot. But I love that from some angles, green tree. From other angles, nothing. Just a white outline and then boom, there it is. Can't see anything, bam. Oh, love it so magical so that's that one <laughs> stop getting over excited i don't know why i'm so excited i sat there and you know planned them out painted them and edited them i should be over it by now i think even after a hundred years i'll still be ooing and ahhing at nail stuff so i've done two coats of black and now i'm matte topping it or velvet topping it because i want the background to be matte and i'm taking under pressure which is this gorgeous shimmery blue um, it's a clear, clear base, but shimmery blue. And we're going to do, guess what shape we're going to do? That's right, a circle. No, we're going to do another triangle and then we will cure that. Oh, look at this on black. How have I not put this on my nails yet? It's so amazing. It's from the Madame Glam Peacock collection, I think. And I got a couple more from there, one of which we use in this video because the order I placed in their Black Friday sale came, I filmed this over two days and it came on the second day that I was filming. So I have used a couple of them in it. And then we're taking the silver chrome and we're going to do our wiggles. You don't need to do the wiggles the way I'm doing them in all the videos. Um, you can do them however you see fit. You could do wiggly wiggles or straight lines or no lines whatever you want but I'm just I don't know I quite like the way this looks so we've done that with the chrome the silver chrome and then we'll do a dot 
at the top of the tree. Do we give it a trunk? No. And then we're going to cover this bit, just the tree, with top coat. Um, I did go thickish because you want to obviously cover all the, the raised bits where you've got product on product with gaps in between. And then made sure just to bring the top coat where I'd wisped outside of the tree there and there. Maybe I should have kept it in the tree, but it was no bother just to flick out and cover all the chrome bits because if you don't top the chrome it won't stay chrome looking and that is that a one. Oh, maybe that one's my favorite i don't know please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite maybe we should pick an ultimate winner because i just can't decide and now we are taking spring fever and we're going to do a full nail as if the nail was the tree itself so we're just going to do a full sparkly nail so i'm curing that and then I'm taking this green glitter. I did want to use a hollow one, but it looked like too much was going on. So we've gone for a plain one. I'm using a base coat and not curing it. I'm going to pour this glitter over and then cure it. If you want to burnish your glitter, you'll want to cure the base coat and then rub it in. If it's a fine glitter, rub it into the tacky layer once the base coat has cured. But with metallic glitters like this one I'm going to top and buff now if you if I burnished this rubbed it all in so it was just one thin layer of glitter and the rest crumbles off it wouldn't be sparkly it would look metal because it's only one color so it wouldn't twinkle does that make sense I hope so so I'm going to top and buff this and now we're going to use the gold gel paint which the gold and their gold and silver gel paints are just amazing. You can make your own if you mix a gold glitter with some base coat or something. It would, probably wouldn't be as pigmented, um, but you can use whatever whatever you want. I've said that several times now. Um, so we're going to do some tinsel in the gold, and I'm doing a I'm starting from one end of each of the previous line but making sure I come down at an angle so it does go in that kind of scalloped um, pattern and then putting a very very thin bit of base coat on because we're going to use that to dot on some little red uh, let's call them baubles tiny sequin dots and that's that we're going to top it and because we've already topped and buffed the glitter that's nice and smooth and now we're just sealing in those dots and topping everything. And that's it, a whole nail as if it were the tree. I tried so many different things for this nail, didn't like them. Do I show you them in this video? Oh yeah, I think I do. Um, because it all just looked a bit much. See, too much going on, Joseph. And then that one, uh, yeah, no. So we're settling on this one, just full on sparkle. Shiny sparkly dots with shiny sparkly tinsel on a shiny sparkly nail it's christmas why not this next one oh is my voice annoying anyone else yet it's annoying me oh this is enchanted sky this is one of the new ones that i have which is also from the peacock collection look oh my god the label label looks quite similar to the under pressure completely different this is bluey almost purpley it has got a hint some tiny rainbowy flecks in there as well but mostly a really sort of purpley blue bluey purple it's more blue shut up and I'm doing two coats of that because it's just so nice I thought too much of a good thing when it comes to glitter is a good thing so we've done two coats of that and now I have mattified, you can wipe and buff if you like, but I've matted, and then I'm going to paint on a tree, <laughs> it's a tree video, they're all going to be trees, if you don't want to do a tree nail this Christmas, why are you still here, it's been half an hour, <laughs> and I'm just going to do this in a kind of stencil -y type way, so I've done a, a fat bit of white going thin, and then where it's on the thin side, for the one above it, done the fat bit on the thin side and then the thin bit towards the fat bit of the one underneath. Yeah? 
<laughs> you say you say I'm good at explaining things, so I'm going to assume that that was perfectly fine. And then we've done a little trunkaroo, <laughs> a trunky. My niece had a trunky and those little suitcases with the wheels that you sit on. So cute. And then we're doing, same with the tree, we're doing a fat bit, almost like a wedge, like a doorstop. Um, we're doing fat bit on one side going thin and then the fat bit will be on the thin side for the next one and just getting narrower as we go up. I was quite concerned that this was starting to look like a poop. You know, it's looking a bit poop emoji-esque, but I just stuck with it. And then at the end, oh, it was so tempting to curl the top of the point, but it definitely would have been a bit too poop emoji then. And I was going to leave it with the matte background because I quite liked that, but I thought that was sacrilege for the, uh, what's that shimmery one called again? Enchanted Sky. So... Will shiny everything. It's Christmas. Make it shiny. Oh, that background's so good. This is the poop tree. It's where uh, people go to poop. <laughs> you could do just triangles, wedges, um, instead of like trying to curve them if you wanted it to be less poopy. The next one we're going to do... Is this the last one? No idea. No idea where I am. This is Daydream which is also a Madame Glam colour. You can do these, you know, you don't have to do these in exactly the same colours I've done or using the same things. Um, obviously, I love their stuff. Oh, this is a new one to me. <gasps> Look. Oh, yes. All of the ones I've got bar two are sparkly ones. And one of them, one of the colours I've got, we'll talk about this nail in a sec, is my spirit colour. It, I, It's so good. I almost don't want to tell you what it's called because I don't want anyone to buy it. I want, I never want it to run out. It's called Glittery Plum. Holy moly, it's amazing. Anyway, we've done two coats of Daydream, which has got a bit of a sparkle in. And then that new one that I've got, new to me, was called Rocking It. Cured that. And now I'm using the McCart Gem Glue. Oh, and then there was another flipping disaster oh you bollocking bastard the fuck's going on lately no <sighs> just having one of those days i think it happens again so i'm taking two different types of pink and then some clear sort of ab crystals i'm going to pop those in the wet gem gel glue which is nice and firm so it doesn't they don't move around which is quite good when you're um popping them in wiggle them into the right place and then we will get that shit in the lamp in you go then we're going to drop some more things uh, thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. what is going on good job this is the last nail i was starting to get a little bit annoyed at myself my clumsiness so we're going to pop a silver star on the top of the tree that was modern family in the background in case anyone's wondering and then we are going to so i just used a bit of base coat to sort of stick that down with and cured it and then we're going to seal in oh i think i've done something on the right hand side there's a big lump of something but pretend it's not there okay okay thank you thank you very much so we're going to seal that in and seal around all our the outline of our crystals as well you can go in with a bit of top coat in between each one if you want but that gem glue is really good so i i think it'll be fine and this is all of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite i don't know oh i think that middle with the cat eye and the swirly and the but then the bling one oh and look at the rainbow dots oh i like the foil as well i like them all I think. Um, let me know which one is your favourite. Which one will you wear? Which ones are you going to try? Don't forget to enter the jewellery giveaway in the comments below. I'll put all details in the description as well. And also check out all the discount codes in there for nail goodies. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.